seven minutes after the hour, Gary has the tea and the color of the day. Good morning, Ricky. Did you know that Indeed helps find great hires fast? Indeed is your all-in-all -all platform for interviewing, screening, and hiring high-quality people. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. A beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news. Ricky, everybody's talking about your friend, honey, Miss Cheryl Underwood. They're saying, baby, she's the talk of the town, because guess what? Right. Cheryl went unrecognizable as a football pro Lamar Jackson, y'all, in her Halloween costume, honey. Everybody's saying y'all the fan. Oh, <laughs> They're saying cool. y'all, baby. They're saying that Cheryl went unrecognizable. They say she ditched the drama and took on stage Monday in her Halloween costume, dressed as professional athlete Lamar Jackson, baby. They're saying that the talk star, honey, was able to take a break, honey, from fun, despite the fact that she's fielding with Natalie Morales, y'all. Now, she's looking amazing. They're saying people hardly recognize her. They're saying and people couldn't stop talking about it. They said she looked entirely amazing. Now, they're saying that the 57-year-old dressed as Lamar Jackson, the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens football team. She posed with her hands around the collar of her jersey, sporting her hair in braids, and they say she looked just like Lamar, honey, but she had fake fashion facial hair around her mouth. Now they're saying y'all that she looked amazing. And you know, I mean y'all look at doesn't she look amazing? She look a little bit like Warren Sapp. Huh? It's like a little bit like Warren Sapp. Yeah, definitely she give you sure Warren Sapp. <laughs> yeah. Give me Warren said, Sapp. Honey, somebody um wrote, oh she ever dressed up as our um Raven Lamar Jackson for Halloween. They say thank you for representing Baltimore. And then others, you know, went on to say thank you, Cheryl, for representing the best team in football, the Baltimore Ravens. And, you know, a lot of people say it just looked good. And they say, honey, she may be redeeming herself because, you know, a lot of people said they want Cheryl off the talk effective immediately. So we're going to see how this all turn out. But she looks good. And I give her props, though, because she went out there. Like, if you're going to do a Halloween costume, get out you got to get out there. You got to put get it out, out there. there. And she went out there like she that. She did. She with the yeah. facial hair and all that. I give her props, man. As yeah. a comedian, you know what I mean? Look. Hey, oh, damn. That one, thing. yeah. Now yeah. that looks more like a Warren Sapp. I'm telling you, that's Warren yeah. Sapp. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even recognize her. I was like, I didn't know who she was, child. I'm like, well, go be Cheryl. Super honey. day! She looks amazing. Warren Sapp all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. right. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, Lil Nas uh, X, his daddy baby, slammed Boosie, y'all, over those recent homophobic remarks that he made about his son. Now, they're saying, y'all, that earlier this week, Lil Nas X made a joke about collaborating with Boosie, and Boosie responded by saying, stop trolling me. And he said something else, honey. Then he said, he, he told him, he said, if you commit suicide, you will be doing the world a huge favor. But they said, no, oh. he said, nobody wants you here. Then Lil Nas X daddy, honey, Mr. R.L. Stafford, he took to Instagram to defend his son saying, how in the hell are you going to um, be a gangster rapper promoting drugs, gun violence, degrading women and getting high in every video, honey? I'm talking about um, you for the kids. Talking about you for the kids. Then he said, man, sit your old um, butt down. He said, the game has passed you. He said, we real bankhead over here, not like the guys who claim it. Boosie responded by saying, don't get mad at me because your son came out like that, unquote. They're going to stop fighting oh. one day, honey. Oh, my God. They're going to stop fighting one day. Bless their souls, honey. Between Why do you know Lil Nas X represent Bankhead? I didn't know that. Yeah, he from Bankhead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think he from Douglasville. Mm, well, That's why they just gave him a chance. Bankhead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They ain't quite Ooh, bankhead. Right on the outside of yeah. bankhead? Yeah. It's like being from Fort Worth saying you from South Dallas. No, sir. Say what, Kate? It's like being from Fort Worth saying you from South Dallas. No, yeah. Hey, man. It's a difference. Some of them Fort Worth hoods. But it's a difference. It's, it's a whole neighbor. It's a whole lot of interstate between that. Lord Jesus. My Lord. But I can't blame his dad for defending his son, though. I mean, because he said some pretty ugly things. He did. Also, oh, bankhead was a diss to T.I., you think? I don't know who that was a diss to. It was a diss to somebody. I'm just yeah. talking about him defending his son, uh, Lil Nas right. X Daddy. You know, you, you know, regardless of how my son is, you ain't finna say all that about right. it. Right, still, it's still gonna, my son. Yeah, I'm gonna right. defend it. Right. Yeah. Well, bless their spirits, y'all. Mm. And then my final story, y'all. Chrissy Teigen, she is, oh, this is so exciting. She is 100 days sober, y'all. Now, the cookbook author told, um, hold a cobra, y'all, on yesterday. She said, I'm so excited. I feel so good. I feel very clear-headed. Awesome. And she announced, y'all, that she was four weeks sober in December 2020, y'all. After publicly acknowledge, y'all, that she was drinking too much over the years, y'all. So, congratulations. 
to Miss Chrissy Teigen, yeah. That's she'll be good. coming back. Yeah, cause, you know, they kind of, oh, they, they canceled that girl, honey, because when she said something about this other girl, honey, said she needs to go do something with herself. So at least she's letting us know that she's not drinking no more, so they won't be coming from alcohol if she can say something. Else. <laughs> <laughs> alcohol be doing it. Miss <laughs> mm. Chrissy be having her refreshing beverage, honey, <laughs> talking about the girls. <laughs> refreshing beverage? <laughs> yeah, baby, she be talking about the girls. <laughs> No. <laughs> what do they call it? A refreshing beverage. It's a refreshing beverage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a drink. We have a refreshing beverage. <laughs> All right, the color today, honey, is one of my favorite clues. My color today is rouge. On the high end, you say rouge, and on the lawn, you say beautiful pinkish brown. That's your color for today. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Yeah. 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 Ye